What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today we are continuing on with the Copper Drop series. And to start off, we do have the Air Jordan 1 in the top three colorway. I know the show already dropped, but since it is in this week's sneaker rotation, I figured I'd put it in the video. And plus, I do have something to say about it. So to start off, we know this shoe is a mix of the Chicago 1s, Royal 1s, and the Bread 1s. It's basically like the What The 1, which is really nice since this is the first time it's ever came out like this. And from what I can see in the pictures is that the leather, there's no pixel leather anywhere. It's just like straight leather. So the leather isn't as smooth as it would be on the Bread 1s or the Shattered Backbow 1s. It's like basically just the normal Jordan 1 leather. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed in that because I thought this shoe was going to be much greater than it was. Like, I know resale at first was going for like $500 and maybe around the area. And now it's going for like, and now it's going for like $225 and up. But a little tip for you guys that didn't get it just like I did and I struck out today. I took it on this. Wait it out a few days or wait it out to, then it's tonight. And buy your shoes off StockX. I know I don't usually go with StockX, but this time I am just because they are giving free shipping. And they're giving $20 off if it's your first purchase off their website. So go ahead and do that. That's what I want to do at least. And hopefully I'll get a good deal. I'm hoping to pay at least $200 at most because this shoe is going down in value a lot since it is not a limited shoe, but I just love the shoe, especially the concept. And I've been dying for the shoe since I heard of it. So for me, the shoe is a must cop. I will be copying it eventually, hopefully by the end today. On to the next shoe. We do have the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. This shoe has finally come out. It's been taking all year. Actually, it's been, I don't even know how long. I think it's been since March since they announced it. It makes its official debut today, but it's not released to the public exactly just because it's only certain Nike Plus members that will get notifications. It's just at random, I think. I'm not exactly too sure about that. And the other people that are able to get them are the people in New York. There's two stores, one in Nike Soho and then another Nike somewhere around there that they are debuting them there as well. The only downside that I see is their price tag of $720. That's a really steep price. Especially for Nike. Like, Nike hasn't even been booming this year compared to Adidas. So, to be honest, I don't think they should be putting a big price tag on that shoe. But then it is pretty understandable because that technology could cost a lot or the idea is what they're basically charging for. So, they're making the money back for the 10 years that it took for them to basically get this shoe together. And today, the only colorway that was released is the black colorway, which you will see right here. But if you missed out today, you can possibly get the chance on December 1st to get all three colorways, which is the black, the metallic silver, and the silver. For me, this shoe is a cop just because I know the price is gonna go way higher and people are already willing to pay the price. You can already see it on Go and eBay. People are willing to pay the price, so I feel like, for me, I'd resell it just because $720 is a lot for me to keep. But even if I do keep it, I'll probably, I won't even wear it just because it's such a memorable shoe and I'll probably have it and buy a case for it and everything. Next up is Adidas Ultra Boost in the triple black colorway. Everybody's been waiting for this shoe for so long, especially me, I know I have. This shoe is fully black. It's not like the past uh, triple black release that they did where it was all black here and then it was white on the bottom. It's actually black on the bottom this time. Triple black is a really nice touch to any shoe to be honest. And especially the Ultra Boost, which is one of my favorite shoes since it is really comfortable and really nice. I do have to give this shoe a cop and you could pick it up on December 1st for the price of $180. Next up we do have another Adidas. It is the Adidas NMD R1 in the black Trico stripe colorway. And to be honest, this shoe is whatever to me. It just has three stripes, red, white, and blue. Nothing too new. It looks kind of like the Winter Wool, but they just do those three color stripes on there. There's not much to really talk about with the shoe other than to say that it drops on December 3rd for the price of $170. You can get it on adidas.com for sure and then check soul links for all the other websites. I do have to give the Adidas Black Chico Stripes a drop just because there's nothing interesting about it. It doesn't really catch my eye, and it's not something that I'm pretty sure it probably won't even sell out. Some people are hype about it, some people aren't. Another triple black shoe that we have is Adidas Uncage Ultra Boost. Once again, not much to say about this shoe. It does drop on December 3rd again for the price of $180, and again, you can pick this up on Adidas. As for the triple black Ultra Boost, it's gonna be a drop for me just because I don't really like the Uncage as much as I do like the Cage, which are like these ones right here. And another Adidas that we have this week is the Adidas EQT Support Ultra Boost Prime Knit. This is a really long name. The Adidas EQT Support Ultra Boost Prime Knit collab with Pusha T, King Push EQT Grayscale is a colorway supposedly. And this shoe is fugly. It's not even ugly, it's fugly. This shoe, again, this shoe as well drops on December 3rd for the price of $200. And honestly, the Ultra Boost is a good touch to it, but the shoe uppers is just so ugly, especially with the Grayscale. Like, I hate that. I don't know what Adidas is doing with this. As for the Pusha T collab with Adidas, I gotta give it a drop, man. That shoe is so ugly, I can't even, it hurts to look at it. I can't even look at the shoe. Like, I'm about to just close the tab and not even put it in the video. Last but not least is Adidas NMD R1 in the white trigo stripes. And to be honest, this shoe is way nicer than the one I showed before. Just because, I guess, because it's more white and more vibrant, especially with the black, the contrast. And this shoe drops December 3rd again. All these shoes are dropping December 3rd, so you know Adidas is trying to make you blow your money. It's crazy. It's crazy. 
especially at the price point of $170, that, that's ridiculous. That's one, two, three, four. That's five shoes by them. That's ridiculous. That's big bank takes little bank. But for me, I'm going to have to give this shoe a drop just because I already have the two NMDs that I want, as you guys can see right here. I am just missing one, which is a beige colorway, but I'll get it eventually. I'm not stressing over it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 1500 by the end of this year, and you guys are doing really good at it. So please keep hitting that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on the notification for this channel so you do get a notification every time I upload a video so you don't miss out on any video. It's your boy, Sneakers. Make sure you stay woke. Our Sneakers signing out. Peace.